This is how to make beef demi-glace out of vegetables. You get a really beautiful umami packed jus or demi that's nice and thick and it'll stick to pasta, stick to mushrooms, stick to roasted carrots, whatever you want to put it on. It's super quick to make and it just tastes incredible. I prefer this actually over traditional demi. Really straightforward process. You take a bunch of vegetables, shave them all, roast them in the oven, take them out of the oven, and then you kind of go about you would make in a normal broth. So you add a little bit of water, simmer it for an hour or two, strain it, and thicken it. And the whole process takes about 60 minutes, maybe 90 minutes from start to finish. Let's get going. You pick a bunch of vegetables. You kind of want to separate your vegetables in two categories, savory vegetables and sweet vegetables. Carrots and onions, very sugary, so I don't use a lot of them. Because by the time you make your sauce, you can have a syrup, an eggplant, broccoli, shiitake mushrooms, use loads of those. Super savory, lots of umami. Take all the vegetables, shave them nice and thin. I don't peel anything, I don't prep anything, I just slice it all because it's gonna get roasted so much. A lot of the times I want that skin flavor, I want the tannins, I want the depth. Then we add a little bit of tomato paste, that way you get some nice acidity, about that much. Then we add loads of kombu, you know, the seaweed that you get in miso soup. You don't have to add oil, but I'm gonna add a little bit just because it helps it not stick. I'm gonna use my hands. I wanna get that tomato paste really mixed up. This whole pan of veggies, probably like three pounds of veggies, and it'll probably make about two or 300 grams really rich uh, vegan demi -glace. You wanna roast it low and slow. So we put it in a 300 degree oven, probably about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. These are ready. You can tell by how dark they are. So it looks like it's kind of caramelized at first. And you're like, oh, that's perfect. Uh, you actually want to take them almost to being burnt. Otherwise, you'll still have a sweet sauce. You want to get a little bit of those deep, complex, roasty flavors in there. So at this point, what you're going to do is add water back to this, pop it right back in the same oven, let it hang out for probably another 30, 40 minutes. And you're going to start to pull a lot of that beautiful, rich flavor into the water. All this goes in a little strainer. It's almost ready. You just cook this down for another 20 or so minutes on the stove until it's nice and reduced, until you have about half as much or so. Um, but it'll still be thin. And from there, you add a pinch of pectin, a pinch of xanthan if you want, and that's gonna give it that nice mouthfeel, that stickiness. If you don't do that, if you don't thicken it, you'll end up with more flavorful, like more concentrated, but still thin vegetable jus. If you thicken it, you get this nice sticky texture. So when you put it on pasta, put it on veggies, It'll stick. Mm. Really happy. I think this whole cooking thing might work out for you, Grant. Yes. Like with all sharp things, don't slice your hands off. You know, don't use them to slice your body parts. I don't think I've ever sliced meat with mandolin, living or dead. Let's have fun with it. <laughs> A little from the side. <laughs> 